activating autophagy. We already talked about intermittent fasting. Exercise is a great way to activate autophagy where our body actually breaks down all the damaged skin cells and the damaged mitochondria within the skin cells. We call that mitophagy. So we actually break those down, get rid of the bad ones and add in good ones or repair ones that are, are damaged but not beyond repair, right? So they can be repaired so they can function optimally. Well, how do we do that? Again, intermittent fasting, exercise, and then there's also herbs and compounds that help. One of the best ones, particularly when it comes to skin cells, is resveratrol. Resveratrol is a polyphenol that's found in dark berries, grapes, uh, like purple grapes, um, muscadine grapes have resveratrol, blueberries, things like that. But you can get clinical doses taking a supplemental form of resveratrol, really great for helping improve skin health, um, green tea, the, the uh, catechins in green tea, EGCG, really great for helping improve skin health as well. Curcumin, or you may have heard of turmeric. So the, the polyphenol in there, the main one that's well studied is curcumin. That can be really, really powerful for helping to improve autophagy, improve overall skin health. So you'll, you'll notice that with those. And then also, you might wanna go into a deeper fast. So when we're in this fasted state, our insulin levels are low and the body needs to get energy from somewhere and it needs proteins from somewhere. So what will it do? It will actually start to scavenge all the different areas of scar tissue and, and older, what we call senescent or aged tissues and aged cells of the body and break those down and use them for energy and use the proteins to help form new blood cells and, and you know, all, the, all the critical proteins. And so when we go on something like a three to five day fast, we'll start to scavenge a lot of that loose flabby tissue, loose flabby skin, and over time metabolize that and then form new health because our growth hormone's elevated. Growth hormone turns on the production of new, healthy uh, embryonic or young, young cells, young with, with strong collagen, strong elastin, to help form our skin. So undergoing something like that will really jumpstart what you're doing and you can combine a lot of these strategies with it.